Lions have second and goal. Texas A&M has the best defense in college football, and they're led by the best defensive tackle in college football, Vontae Austin. The Aggies were ranked number four last week, but they lost seven to nothing because of their terrible defense to the Arkansas Razorbacks. The offense should never be that bad. They have four and five stars all over the field. This week, the Aggies travel to Hawaii to face the Rainbow Warriors. Hopefully, the Aggies can get their offense back on track and get a win this week. We are here, Aloha Stadium in Hawaii, Texas A&M versus Hawaii. Number eight, Texas A&M trying to get back on track after that disappointing loss against Arkansas last week. This is one of the rare times where SEC team is going to a Mountain West team across the country to play them at their stadium. Now on second down and seven, Vontae Austin hits the guard with a nice bull rush. Forces the quarterback to almost throw an interception, but Texas A&M defense just can't catch. Now on first down and five. Vontae Austin would split a double team right here, but he didn't need to make a play because his teammates was all over that. Now, on third down and 10, Hawaii would be one for one on third down so far. Vontae Austin would be lined up at the three technique. He would initially beat his man, but he would get double teamed, and they would convert on third down on that play. Now, after that conversion, Hawaii would come to the football, would be under center. Vontae Austin would be lined up at the three technique. He would beat his man, get double teamed by the running back. He would dump it off to Christian, and Christian would get a nine-yard gain on that play. Now, on second down and one, Hawaii would come out, run a counter. Vontae Austin would have to disengage from the center and make the play on the running back for a five-yard gain. Vontae would get pushed around just a little bit on that play, but he did a good job at disengaging and making the play on the football. End of the first quarter, Texas A&M is up 7-0 over Hawaii. Hopefully, the Texas A&M offense can score some more points. Now, on second down and four, Vontae Austin would be lined up to the right side of the formation. He would disengage from the guard right here, try to run down the running back, but the defense is all over that, forcing a third down and one. Now, on third down and one, Hawaii needed to convert right here. Texas A&M desperately needed to stop. So, they would send the tight end in motion right here. Vontae Austin would easily share his block, but he didn't need to make a play because his teammates was all over it. Now, Texas A&M's offense still couldn't get anything on the board. They'd be up 7-0 right now with about 321 left to go in the third quarter. Vontae would drive his man back just a little bit and end up making the play with his teammate. Eight carries for 11 yards so far for Wallace Jefferson. This Texas A&M defense has been locked. Down. Now on third down and 14, Vontae Austin would be lined up at the three technique. They would send the tight end in motion. Vontae would do a great job of disengaging right here, but it didn't matter because Matthews would end up getting the first down for 19 yards. Now on second down and four, with about 220 left to go in the half, Vontae Austin would be lined head up on the guard. They would send the tight end in motion. Vontae would try to get a nice little bull rush, but the Texas A&M DBs have been getting baked in man coverage today. Not the best performance so far by the number one pass defense in college football. Vontae would do a great job of beating him right here with the swim move, but he would get double teamed, forcing the quarterback to get rid of the football, and it'd be an incompletion. Look at that right there. Still getting double teamed almost every single play, but he's making his impact on this game known. On first down and 10, with 131 left to go in the half, Vontae would be standing up right now. Then he would eventually get into his three-point stance. He'd do a nice job of disengaging this block right here, but once again, the Texas A&M defense got the clamps on him. Wallace Jefferson has no room to run so far in this game. Nine carries for 11 yards. Now, on second down and 10, Vontae would be lined head up on the guard with disengaged, trip over his teammates block, but it doesn't even matter. The A&M defense is all over it once again. Now, on third down and 10, with about 108 left to go in the second quarter, Vontae would be lined up in a two-eye, does a nice spin move, Try to get picked up by the running back, but his pressure forced the quarterback to get rid of the football easily. Mm, look at that spin move. Hawaii would end up putting three points on the board. After that defensive stop from Texas A&M, they would just try to run the clock out. But Vontae wanted to put him on the ground real quick, and that would be the end of the half. Now, Hawaii would get the ball to start the second half. Vontae would be lined up on the center. They would send the tight end in motion. On second down and one, Vontae would get the pressure on the bull rush, but... Quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball to Antoine Slaughter. Now, on first down and 10, third quarter with about 325 left, 
Texas a and needs to get a big time stop right here. Vontae Austin with the bull rush dumps it off to Matthews. Matthews, one broken tackle, two broken tackles. Down the sideline, Vontae Austin trying to chase him, but he would end up getting pushed out of bounds. Now in that 32-yard game, will eventually set up Hawaii for a first down and goal. Vontae would be lined up at the three technique. Mm, beat him with the swim. Mm, got the quarterback on the ground easily. Vontae Austin needed to make a play to give the defense a better opportunity to get a stop and get the ball back to the offense. It's like every single time you leave Vontae Austin one-on-one -on, -one on an island, he's going to make you pay. It seems like every single time you don't double-team him, he gets a sack. Mm, nice swim move. Got that man on the ground. <clears throat> get off me, young man. Put him on the ground. Now, second down and goal from the 15-yard line. What more does Texas a and want? Giving themselves a chance to preserve their lead. They would send the tight end in motion right here to the side of the running back. Vontae Austin be at the three technique. Hit him with a nice swim move. Got picked up by the back. Eventually shaded that block, but Setzer in the end zone got the touchdown. Now, unfortunately for the Texas A&M defense, the offense turned the ball over in their own territory. Vontae Austin will put him on his back right here. But Jefferson, that's probably his best run of the game. Five yards. Now, second down and five, Texas A&M will make an audible immediately at the line of scrimmage. Vontae Austin will get nice pressure right here. Force the quarterback to get rid of the football. Because of all of the double teams, this is the most I've seen Vontae Austin use a bull rush in the season. Now, on third down and five, a very important down for the Texas A&M defense. They need to get a stop. Vontae Austin hit him with a nice spin move, but he would end up getting double teamed, clamped up by the second dude. Do it right at Sergio Bradley's hands, but you just dropping the bag, man. In a game like this, you need every opportunity you can get. Fourth down and five. Vontae shares the block, but it's too late. And he dumped it off to Chris Christian for a seven-yard game. First down for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And I know we talked about this all season, but seven points against a Mountain West team is unacceptable. Vontae will put the guard on his back right here, though. Fitzpatrick in the open field, but he got smacked. Texas A&M offense might be trash, but the defense is laying that pain today. Now, second down and nine. Vontae at the three technique. Couldn't even get into his rush until Fitzpatrick got rid of the football that sets her. And sets her with a big 23-yard game right here. Now, it would be second down and goal to clock of the third quarter is winding down. Vontae also be the three technique. Put the guard on his back again. Jefferson got four yards on that play. And that's probably going to be the end of the third quarter. Now, unfortunately for the Aggies, Vontae Austin had to come out for one play, and Hawaii ends up scoring. So the score is 17 to 7 right now. Third down and two. Vontae shares the block, but Fitzpatrick gets the ball out to Chris Christian once again. Texas AM pass defense has not lived up to the hype in this football. Game. It's not been a lot of yards thrown in them, but in critical moments and situations in the game, they haven't been able to get off the field. Now, on second down and 15, Vontae will put him on his back once again. Jefferson will be shut down for three yards right here. And it seems like at this point in the football game, all Hawaii is trying to do is just run the clock out. Wait, 102 total yards for Texas A&M? That's unacceptable. I don't care who you are. What, bro, what is that? And now they want to score a touchdown. 14 to 17, way too late for them to score a touchdown right now. Absolutely embarrassing. They just flew all the way out to Hawaii to take an L to a Mountain West team. Lewis Fitzpatrick, player of the game, well deserved. 16 for 22, 210, and two touchdowns. But this is an unacceptable performance by Texas A&M. The defense, yeah, unacceptable by them too. They couldn't get off the field when they needed to. But it is, we all know, this really has to go back on the offense. The offense, this is just unacceptable. They really scored seven points. They didn't score that next touchdown until it was garbage time. And this is just very disappointing and depressing for Vontae Austin because, in my opinion, he's the best player in college football. He's been dominant for the past two seasons, and it feels like his career is being wasted at Texas A&M. Most likely no SEC championship appearance because y'all really see this team with this offense going to Atlanta? Most likely no national championship. They might be able to sneak into the playoffs, but I, I doubt that too. Marco Lombardi, a subscriber, had an awful game for Texas A&M. Y'all see the Hawaii team stats. Let's look at Texas A&M real quick. Defense, you know, did their thing here and there. But yeah, David Rogers, terrible running performance. Brian Brown, a subscriber, five catches, 79 yards. One enough to win the game or do anything substantial when they count it. But anyways... It's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure y'all click on that post notification bell too. Helps out the channel tremendously.
If you want to be included as a character in the Reason Sports Network universe, then this is the video for you. In the Reason Sports Network, we make content for high school football, college football, and the NFL. You can be a character in our series and see yourself evolve from high school to college to the pros. If you want to be a part of this, then fill out the form that's in the description. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for filling out the form and wanting to be part of the Reason Sports Network and enjoy the content. If you want to see my high school road to glory from earlier this week, when my five-star wide receiver goes on an unofficial visit to LSU, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single Vontae Austin video if you click on the playlist above.